In Scala, we are having multiple logical operators like your logical AND, logical OR, logical NOT. So, we will be discussing all these logical operators with one demonstration. So, here is the demonstration. So, here in this session, we are discussing logical operators which are available in the Scala language. So, suppose A holds true and B holds false. So, at first the logical operator we are going to discuss ampersand ampersand that is logical AND. So, it is called logical AND operator. If both the operands are non-zero or true, then the condition becomes true in this case. So, A AND and B will be false here because B is holding the value false. Now, we are going for two time filter symbols are to be given consecutively. So, that is our logical OR. So, it is called logical OR operator if any of the two operands is non-zero or true then the condition becomes true. So, A logical OR B will be the true because A holds the value true here. Next one is our exclamation that is logical NOT. It is called logical NOT operator used to reverses the logical state of its operand. That means here we had this A logical and B the outcome was false. So, if we apply not over it, the outcome will be true here. Let us demonstrate this logic using some uh, coding here in Scala coding. So, here you see we are having this uh, respective bar A is equal to true and bar B is equal to false. So, at first we are printing this A and B. So, A and and B, so A logical and B will produce the output false here. So, here is the output we are having. So, A logical and B will have the value false, will produce output false. So, A logical or B will produce output true and not of A logical and B will have the output true here because it was false. So, not will reverses the logical state. So, now it will be the output will be true here. So, in this way how to use our logical operators in our Scala coding, we have discussed that one. Here you know that in case of Scala, so it is immaterial whether you are giving this semicolon at the end or not because the semicolon giving is optional. So, we can run, run the same code without using the semicolon at the end of the statements. So, then also it will produce the same output. So, here you see we are going to get the same output as well. Thanks for watching this video.